Leasing 101, the seven types of leases and what you need to know. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homer Guy channel, your go-to source for all things automotive. If you're tuning in today, you're in for a treat because we're diving deep into the world of car leasing. I'm your host, Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, and joining me today is the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Well, many people make assumptions about leases, Kevin. Are they a bad financial decision for less affluent people? Yes and no, but consider these three points to see if a lease makes sense for you. Number one, you want to be driving a new car and you'll replace it every three to four years. You don't mind that you'll be paying for a vehicle during its biggest appreciation years. Always have a car payment. Mm -hmm, always have a payment, yep. Number two, you drive 10,000 to 15,000 or fewer miles per year. Just make sure that you'll get the right lease plan. And number three, you have top tier credit. If these three describe you, then leasing can be a great choice for you. Be wary, however, because there's a lot to understand about leases and dealers love to capitalize on confusion. So the question boils down to this. Are you thinking about getting into a new ride, but you really don't want the commitment of buying? You might be considering a lease. Well, fear not because we are breaking it all down for you today. In today's video, we'll uncover the ins and outs of car leasing. We'll explore the seven different types of leases from close end to open end and even those special deals that might seem just too good to pass up. We'll also tackle the big questions. What the heck is a money factor? Why not a simple interest rate? What are the common mileage limits? And what about wear and tear and other expenses? By the end of your journey today, you'll be equipped with everything you need to know to decide if leasing a vehicle is the right move for you. So buckle up, hit that like button, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's roll out and learn all about car leasing. It might surprise you to know that there are several types of vehicle leases, seven actually, and the right one for an individual or business depends on your specific needs, financial situation, and preferences for vehicle use and maintenance. By the way, a footnote to insert here. When you lease a vehicle, you're not really doing business with the dealer, although the dealer is the one with the car. You're actually doing business with a financing company, and that means everything you're signing on for is being driven by an invisible off-site party. This includes any fees you'll pay later if you should decide to buy out your lease when it's over. Also, before you ask for a lease on any vehicle, be prepared to negotiate the price of the car, just like you would if you were going to buy it. Yes, a common mistake of people who lease is that they just say, quote me a lease on this vehicle. Here are the seven different lease types, some of which maybe you've never heard of. Number one, close end lease or walk away lease. This is the most common type of leases for consumers. At the end of the lease term, you can simply return the vehicle and walk away as long as the vehicle meets the conditions for mileage and wear and tear stipulated in your lease agreement. You have no further obligations unless you have exceeded mileage limits or there is excessive wear and tear. Number two, open end lease or a finance lease. This is more common for commercial or business leases. At the end of the lease term, you or your business are responsible for the residual value of the vehicle. If the vehicle is worth less than the estimated residual value at the end of the lease, you must pay the difference. Number three is a single payment lease. Instead of monthly payments, you make one large payment upfront for the entire lease period. This is pretty uncommon. You can save on interest, but it requires a significant amount of cash at the beginning. Number four, subvented lease. Offered by manufacturers through their financial divisions, these leases often come with special incentives like reduced interest rates or money factors, waived fees, or higher residual values to lower the monthly payments. Number five is a luxury car lease designed for high-end vehicles. These leases often come with a higher residual value, reflecting the slower depreciation of luxury cars. Number six, mileage lease. You can tailor your lease based on the number of miles that you expect to drive annually. Most leases come with an annual mileage limit, and if you exceed this limit, you will have to pay a fee per additional mile at the end of the lease. So if you know you easily exceed the usual allowed miles of say 10 to 15,000, consider a mileage lease. Number seven is the commercial lease for businesses that need vehicles for commercial lease. They may offer more flexible terms regarding mileage and wear and tear due to the nature of their use. Besides the types of leases, there are unique things you need to know about car leases. Instead of interest rate, a lease uses something known as a lease money factor. This is specific to car leases. It is also known as the lease factor or lease fee. The money factor is a small decimal number that represents the interest portion of the lease payments. To compare the money factor to a conventional interest rate like an APR, you can multiply the money factor by 2400. The multiplication factor of 2400 is used regardless of lease term because the money factor is expressed as a monthly rate and there are 2400 months in 200 years, which is how APR is annualized. 
It does not include the other costs of borrowing like an APR does. Money factor is not the same as an interest rate on a car loan, and this is used when financing the purchase of a car through a loan. It is typically expressed as an annual percentage rate APR. The APR represents the yearly cost of funds over the term of the loan, including any fees or additional costs associated with the transaction. This rate provides a more comprehensive view of what you will pay because it includes the interest cost plus other fees. Some key differences. The application, the money factor, is exclusively used for leases while an interest rate is used for loans. So why are they different? The primary reason for the difference in money factors versus interest rates is the nature of the financing agreement. A lease is not a loan, but rather a contractual agreement allowing the use of the vehicle somewhat like a rental. Leasing a vehicle can be an excellent choice for various types of vehicle owners, but it is particularly well suited for those who prefer new vehicles, individuals who enjoy driving a new vehicle every few years without the commitment of a purchase. They drive predictable mileage. Those who drive a consistent predictable number of miles annually that fall within the common mileage limits of a lease agreement, usually 10 to 15,000 miles per year. And they maintain the vehicles very well. People who take good care of their vehicles and adhere to the maintenance schedules as leases often require the car to be returned in good condition, barring normal wear and tear. And then there's business owners or professionals who can take advantage of tax deductions for lease vehicles used for business purposes. And then the budget conscious drivers who prefer lower monthly payments with a lower down payment than typically required when purchasing a vehicle. There's also warranty coverage. Those who want to have the vehicle under warranty for the duration of the lease, reducing the risk of incurring unexpected repair costs. Also avoid depreciation issues. Consumers who are concerned about the depreciation and resale of the vehicle, as this is the lessor's responsibility. And then there's a desire for simplicity. People who want a simple turn and trade up process without the hassle of selling or trading in a used vehicle when they're ready for a new one. Well, on the other hand, leasing is not ideal for those who drive significantly more than the typical lease mileage limits as excess mileage can result in hefty fees. They want their own vehicle outright and they modify it or customize it. They tend to keep their vehicles for longer periods where buying would be more economical in the long run, like not having a car payment every month. <laughs> Whether leasing is more expensive than buying a car depends on several factors and the time frame considered. Short-term costs, leasing often has lower upfront costs and monthly payments compared to buying a new car, making it seem cheaper in the short run. Long-term costs, over the long term, leasing can be more expensive since you make continuous payments without ever owning the vehicle and you may have additional costs for mileage, overages, and wear and tear. There's equity. When you buy a car, you build equity once the loan is paid off, but with leasing, you don't gain any ownership interest. As we've already said, it matters that you negotiate the price of your lease vehicle the same way you would an actual purchase, or you'll end up paying way too much. Friends, if you feel you lack the skills to implement the lease strategies we've just presented to you, and you need help finding a vehicle that's right for you, just join our channel as a member today and get direct help and involvement from me and Kevin. We'll help you walk through it. We don't want you to get burned, and we promise that with our help, you won't. It's extremely easy to join. Just hit the little join button right below the video and select the package that's right for you. If you have trouble finding out how to join, send me a text at 701-441-3399 and I will text you a join link. For the direct help that you need, get the Homework Guy Help Package for $24.99, which offers direct email contact with us. You can ask us unlimited questions via email, which is a special email dedicated to members. The next option is the Homework Guy Consults Package at $49.99. You should also know that you can start out at a consults level and then drop back to a lower package after you buy your vehicle if you'd like to continue to support what we do. This consults package gives regular text message contact with both Kevin and me, and you'll get direct contact with Kevin's personal cell phone number. Don't be surprised when Kevin calls you to discuss your car buying plans directly. Also, any membership level can be canceled or downgraded at any time, so there's no risk in limited expense for you. I have already posted my personal cell number in the members only section of our community page. I'd like to get a text message from all members so I can personally welcome you aboard. And although it's not listed as a benefit for any of the packages, I have been personally calling several members. As many of them have said, the value of the membership was well worth it with just one phone call. Today's show was an example of some of the high quality content you'll find in our upcoming book designed for car buyers. Be aware that becoming a member is simple. Just hit the join button below the video to sign up today. And as Liz said, you can just text her and she'll send you the link. Again, her contact number is 701-441-3399. I also want to remind our regular viewers about all the free content we have on our website. 
thehomeworkguy.com. We are improving on our website regularly. Besides the website, you can also connect with us on other social media sites like Facebook. So go like our page if you haven't already done that. If you've just recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. And if you are a new member on our channel, we really enjoy working with you. Thank you for putting your trust in us. Also, thanks again to the many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock, and you know you do. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business, and always will. We've, We've got to go. go.